Okay, the wool was laid out in the trays. Actually, my husband did that for me. He took it out of this basin that we had soaked the wool in. And by the way, this is part four of the video showing how to wash raw fleeces in the backyard. And we're up to the stage where it's been soaked once in a very soapy, warm solution of Orvis paste. And so you can already tell just from the other pictures that I took, and this is in the shade, so you don't have the brilliance. And you can see you know, it's fall, so we have leaves coming off the trees back up against the hill. Um, but you can see how much cleaner the wool looks just from that soak. And now that we've got it laid out in the bread trays, the next stage is to use a combination of both, again, warm and cold water to rinse it. And you just keep rinsing and rinsing until all of it is as white as you want and all this debris is washed off. So I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna set the camera back here a little bit. Um, you can see our little pups in the distance. Mikey sometimes runs off and likes to go after critters and I don't keep her close, so I'll just have her tied. <laughs> she doesn't mind, she's with us watching the older dog. Okay, so here we are. They're the ones the uh, dog beds are being made for. So here we are and um, I'm gonna pick up these hoses and start rinsing. pretty hot and uh, if you'll notice guys I have on my North Carolina State hat this morning okay so this is the hot water hose and basically the idea is just to get down in there and then we try to hold this up you can even see what happens to have that dirt just kind of floats away. The more you do this, the cleaner the wool will get. When it dries and you shake it, any of the leftover chaff and little sticks and whatever just fall out. It's like getting it through a pickle. And they, you don't even have to do that. Just stay being open and release and do a lot of that thing. So basically, that's what you're looking at. Now this is uh, going to be pretty hot in a little bit. So I'm going to run it over uh, because it does help dissolve any residual lanolin and sewage grease that might still be in the fleece. Um, I could run it if it were really dirty. And as I mentioned, some breeds have a lot of juice in their wool just by the nature of the breed. And you might have to run um, another bath through hot soapy water to get that residual grease off. Otherwise, the main thing is to rinse, rinse, and rinse the more. Okay, rinse and move around. So I'm going to set this down a minute. And what I'll do is I'll pick this up, kind of roll it over, and then go back to rinsing. And again, in this case, what I'm doing is I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. I just have the hot tap letters that I'm using. And if you'll see, just doing this, you can see stuff. Just ride them off. So, again, this wool is not my best. It's um, some that will just be used for stuffing. Um, it 
could be died, could be done anything, could be woven, could be whatever. But to give you an idea of what it's like, there you go. And I'm going to take cold water and rinse this after and with along with the top. Okay, that's it for now.